Hello, Internet. <clears throat> um, I thought it was high time to shoot a quick little uh, explainer video. Um, it's been quite a while since I posted something, and that's kind of a twofold reason. Uh, the big reason is we have decided that we are going to sell this place and move to Arkansas. So uh, our new channel is probably not going to be called Why Minnesota? Uh, it's probably going to be called Why Arkansas? So you'll have to just kind of tune in uh, to learn more about that. Um, actually, that's not true. We're, we're, we're not moving. Um, the two reasons I haven't posted in a while. One, I'm having some technical problems. Uh, for a while, I couldn't uh, import video from my Go, GoPro camera uh, into my iMovie. I don't know if I've talked about it before, but I use the free iMovie on my Mac uh, to edit all my videos and for some reason I don't know I just couldn't uh, was having real problems getting stuff transferred over uh, so that was one technical challenge I think I've maybe solved that I don't know it um, <clears throat> been having better luck lately uh, the second reason is just a motivation reason. After almost two years of doing this, uh, my enthusiasm for shooting and editing videos is an all-time low. We have um, accomplished quite a bit, and quite frankly, I have shot hardly any of it. Uh, which is not good for you. Uh, it's probably not that good for me, although I'm not going to beat myself up about the stuff that I don't do. I am still trying to focus on the stuff that I do do. And so, at least this week, uh, I've got a video to show you. It's a big, exciting video, as you might imagine. Um... But yeah, I just wanted to take a moment to catch you guys up. I don't know if anybody's been worried about me, but uh, don't need to worry about us. Everything's good here, um, as you might see. The snow is gone, the green is grass. Wait, the grass is green. And um, we're looking forward to having a nice summer. You know, a long, long, long summer. So anyhow, um, sorry if I gave you a scare at the beginning. But you know me, always the wiseacre. All right, enjoy the show. The first thing you want to do uh, when you're putting in doors or windows is flash the sill. Uh, in this case, it's the floor, but if you're putting in a window... The bottom part, you want to flash it with this sticky tape. It's real heavy duty, it sticks to anything. Um, I put two rows down, but the most important part is you, on the front or on the outside, you lap that an inch and a half down onto your building paper or your house wrap, whatever you have there. So that way any water that should get in there will roll out and on top of the, the vapor barrier on the outside. Very important. Uh, also run it up the in, the ends, up the sides a little bit, up the, uh, you know, the studs. It's always a good idea. Uh, here I end up playing in the header down. Uh, these girts, there's really not a whole lot holding these girts straight. Uh, they span about nine feet. It's just two two by sixes uh, on the outside and then a jam two by six on the inside. Uh, so, you know, it, it was a little low for the door. I ended up playing in it, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch or something. Uh, we also have to put a stud in on one side of the door because we couldn't afford a door that fit the opening perfectly. 
so it's a standard six foot door and we'll have to get some kind of a side light later uh, just like I say it's just way too expensive um, here I'm putting sealant liquid sealant down caulking um, down also uh, just for belt and suspenders purposes I mean the sealant nothing should get past it but if something ever did it would hit that sticky paper uh, I thought we could tip it in um, but it was just too tight at the top so I ended up put some blocks on the outside so that we could slide the door outside and then put it in from the outside which is how you're really supposed to hang stuff um, the little flashing part on the door kept hanging up on the header I don't know if you can tell from that but so it's kind of a flap that needs to flap up and it, it was holding us back so we slowly um, tipped it outside and then Carmen ended up kind of holding the door up while I picked each end up and put it up on the floor. So it worked pretty smooth. We didn't smear all of our fresh caulking all over the place. We didn't make a huge mess. So that's always a success. Um, yeah. And then she kind of held it in place while I quickly plumbed it and put a couple nails in the you know the nail flange and uh, we could take take a step back and really admire the the view things uh things are really changing with this door let me tell you um so once i was happy with how plumb it was uh i nailed the flange on the one side and then I needed to um, get my stud back in place uh, so I could nail that off and also nail the flange on the door on the other side. And then I'd have to nail the head flange on top of the door. Unfortunately, my uh, outside camera died, so you don't really get to see a very good view of what I do on the outside. <clears throat> I can kind of explain it a little bit. <clears throat> when we uh, when we cut the house wrap, we just folded it inside, and so when we uh, nailed the flange, that that flange went over the house wrap. If that makes sense, and then I'm going to take that same sticky paper, and then I'm going to take it from the flange on the door over the uh, house wrap. So that part will be sealed on the sides. Uh, at the head, <clears throat> at the head on top, it's a little different. You want to make sure that the house wrap goes over the flange. So on the top, you don't tuck the house wrap inside like you do on the sides and the bottom. Um, it's a little different uh, technique, but after that, it's pretty much the same. You still use the sticky tape. You just want to make sure the house wrap is on that very outside. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is kind of the end of the show because my camera started slowly sliding down the, the yoga studio roof. Ceiling, I should say. And now you can see this kind of crazy view emerge with... There I'm putting up another piece of house wrap. Like I say, that opening is larger than the the door so there's a there's an opening that I needed a house wrap temporarily temporarily until we get a side light but that uh ironically that hit it falling down actually kind of still gives you a view although a little cloudy of what's going on you can see our beautiful new baker scaffold rolling scaffold right there that thing uh we're going to put that to a lot of use so look forward to more of that
Hello, Internet. Today's job is to get this giant piece of quartz steady this end, make sure it doesn't slide off. I'm gonna move that block over over here. Okay, now I'm just going to tip it over. Okay, hold on. 